Uh, well, we're going to talk about Ross Barkley on Match of the Day 3 uh, for you this week. It was a, a much improved performance, would you say, for him against West Ham? Yes, I, I think we, we know with Ross Barkley, we know what he gives you from an attacking point of view when he's on his game. In fairness, I think he's, he's a player that likes to create. He'll be a player that will drive forward the ball. He'll, he, he can strike from distance. We know he has that game. But one thing's been questioned about him from Ronald Koeman in recent weeks is his lack of work rate for the team, lack of positional sense, lack of awareness within the side. I think we saw a little bit of the other side of his game today. I think that's why he got his rewards and I think that's why Ronald Koeman uh, praised him so much after the game. Is it work rate or is it discipline or is it a bit of both? What is it? I th what he does, he, he chases the ball and sometimes get out of the position. But when he gets out of position, then somebody else is with, you know, with, with the majority of other players from the opposition. And then you get in trouble. So therefore, he needs to be in his position first. And from there, he needs to, he needs to act. I think that also uh, Barry is a very yeah. important uh, factor in that. He needs to guide him. He needs to tell him, come on, go back. And sometimes young players, when they miss a chance, they think about, oh, my God, I missed it. No, first in your position, and then you can worry about what you, what you missed. Did you have somebody early in your career... Oh, yes. ..who, who helped you with that sort of discipline? No, most of the time, it's the older players who have been there before. And they tell you, hey, wake up, come here in your position. And after a while, you have to tell yourself all the time, so... Some, you've done something, you dribbled the ball, you have a cross there. It didn't, it didn't happen and you think, ah, you know, ah, why did it didn't go in? But then you have to go immediately first to your position, so you sprint back, get in your position, ball is in front of you, you don't want to have the ball behind you because then you have to run even more. Do, do you think he's still at the age where he's still learning, though? I, I'm, yeah. I, I mean, I don't... You both... Pro play professional football. Is 23 an age where there's still plenty of, of developing? Or Yeah, well, I, th I think there is, Mark. I think there is. Uh, you, you look at his age, you probably think, you know, he should be coming up to the, to the age now where he should be having this game know-how. He should know how to, how to put it right himself on a pitch. But he still makes fundamental mistakes. And he, in many respects, maybe mentally, he might be still a young boy. Maybe over the last few seasons... With, uh, with his uh, working under Roberto Martinez. He, I, I know, well, you, you know from speaking to Roberto Martinez, he just given the, the, the let him go out and express himself on the pitch. Go on, go and do your own thing. But I think that maybe took away a little bit from his, from his development. Yeah. I think he may have needed to have been actually shown on the video, look, this is what you're doing wrong, put it right. And I think that's what maybe has been lacking from his game. Yeah, it's not his fault if he hasn't been, co uh, hasn't been coached the right way then. That's both sides. You know, I think, I think the, the most things you learn from your older players who are close to you, because they are on the pitch, OK? The coach needs to tell you. And if you don't understand it, you need to show it the video. Look, here you do things right and here do you do things wrong. What do you need to improve to do the, uh, the thing for the, for the team? And, you know, eventually, he's now 23. That's no talent anymore. Talent is off. Now he has to develop himself as a, as a grown-up. You know, he has now... Four years uh, to, to play, and then he gets more into a routine. Because the best years is from 27 till 31, 32, and you have all the experience. So now are the years that you have to show it. In week in, week out. Not only one game and then one day off, no. You have to play at least a six, and then maybe excel to an eight or a nine. Mm.